what's up welcome back i look high as shit but realistically i'm just super tired i am high but i smoked like two three hours ago i'm just tired and i tried to take a nap and i couldn't fall asleep so i just laid in my bed for like two and a half hours and i forced myself to get up right now because i'm about to go to work and it's already 6 30 and i wanted to get there around 7 today but we're pulling up at 8. i see it now i'm not doing makeup i'm just gonna put lashes on because realistically i wear a mask so me beating my face is like there's no point and then at the end of the night i had to take all that shit off so i'm just doing lashes tonight i bought a new outfit so cute i'm gonna wear that tonight and that's it um i'm already shaving good to go so i'm gonna get dressed with the clothes i'm about to literally roll up right now i'm gonna stop at the store and get some candy because i need some sugar in me or something and then i'm gonna be on my way so i'll see you in the car all right so i just got in the car and i wanted to stop at um the store and get some candy but i ended up just ordering some starbucks instead because it's happy hour so it's two drinks for the price of one i got um oh it's the season where they have the creme brulee um steamers so i got a creme brulee steamer and then i also got a kiwi lemonade refresher which i'm just gonna leave in my car until i leave because it's cold and i got no ice in it so the ice isn't gonna melt in it or anything it's cold outside the drink's gonna be fine in my car till i get off of work because when i get off i'm drinking that shit and then also i literally just got a text as i'm walking out the house to go to work because i this is the first time i ever didn't bring my charger with me but i didn't bring my charger with me because i realized like i'm only at work for like three hours maybe four hours my phone's not dying because i'm really not on it like that like i left work yesterday i still had like 85 percent so i ended up leaving my charger at home today so i could charge my ipad while i'm gone so when i get home i don't have to do that because when i put my cat to bed he i don't know like when i put him in the dark like in his little area he will make noise and cry unless there's like sound playing so when i put the ipad in there for him he'd be chilling so that's our nightly routine. It's been working. I've been getting sleep, so I'm sticking to it because I just got my kit in like about two months ago now and we're still like getting into our little routine. But so yeah, the iPad's charging. So I didn't bring my charger with me, but I just got a text as I'm walking out the door and it's like from the owner of the club. And apparently they're having like a after party tonight at 1230 and it's like only $20 for the tip out if I wanna work. So I might do a double tonight. Like I was so tired and didn't wanna go out, but I brought a extra spliff with me. So I have my spliff for, the, for my ride there, my ride home, you know, I'll smoke half there, smoke half home, whatever. I got another spliff with me just in case like I get to smoke at work or I have time. And then I have like a little bit of weed left, like a tiny, tiny little bit that could probably roll maybe a half a spliff, but that's fine with me because if I'm going to work again, I I got to smoke. If I don't have any more weed, I'm not working. But as long as my phone is on 40%, like, fuck it. Like, the GPS to get me home, I really only need, like, 15% of that shit. So, I'm going to see how tonight's going. We're on 100% right now with the phone. I'm on my way to Starbucks. I'm almost there. I'm going to put the heat on a little bit. And yeah, after I get my Starbucks, I'm going to just smoke on my way to the club, get there, changed, try and be on the floor within 20 minutes, which I should because I'm not doing any makeup. The only thing I'm doing is lashes. So yeah, I should be on the floor in 10 minutes. And then yeah, let's see what this possible after party is hitting for. If any of the girls that I met last night are going, then I'll definitely pull up. And even if they're not, I'll consider it. Like, I really, really have a goal. I would like to make 150 tonight. Again, it's only my second day ever dancing. I know I'm new. But I know there's money to be made in the club. And your girl needs some money. Like, that's what we're here for. So, I'm trying to get to 150 tonight. Because Friday night, I want to make at least three. Like, at least three. It's a Friday night. I know other girls who make six to eight 
to a rack on a Friday night. But my club is so small. So I'm hoping for three. But yeah, this little after party shit, I might definitely fuck with. But I am rambling. So I'll see you bitches after I get my Starbucks and when I'm pulling up to the club. So I'm sitting in my car currently. Um, it's around eight o'clock. As you can see, I'm not at the club. So I pulled up at the club. Like I went and got some Starbucks first, you know, got myself ready. Pull up at the club. And as soon as I walk in, the bartender, the one that hired me, she was like, you have to go home. You can't work tonight. She's like, there's too many girls here and you didn't text me first and let me know you were coming. She's like, that's not just like the first day. You need to text me every day you want to work. I was just like damn like my bad I didn't know because yesterday I was like the manager asked me if I was coming back today so I just assumed like I didn't like do it on purpose like my bad she's like no like yeah that's why I gave you my number for you have my number for a reason so I was just like okay cool and I just turned around and left but the way she came at me it was just like damn like I under she wasn't yelling or anything, but it was just like she seemed highly upset that I would just show up. But like, I wasn't being disrespectful or anything. I had no idea, and I really understand because it's a small spot. There's about I told you there's three poles in the center. There's one pole by the DJ, and that's it. So four girls can be on a pole at one time. I'm assuming like yesterday there were six of us there. I'm assuming that's like the max that they would have at a time. So. I get it. My bad for just pulling up. But, like, I didn't know. And it's crazy because I really didn't want to move because I had really good parking. I have a headache. I'm so tired because I tried to take a nap earlier. And I couldn't fall asleep. I was just laying in the bed for hours. I was just like, I could have cooked dinner. I could have did mad other shit that I needed to do at home. But that was a lesson learned for me. But the... Um, I thought that it was the club that sent the text about another party. It was the security guard that works at the club. He works at another club, and they're having a party tonight. But I'm so tired. I'm not trying to work tonight. But tomorrow night, for sure, 100%, I am working. So I'm going to look. I just looked online. I found another club literally five minutes from my house. Five minutes. I'm like, okay, so, but they don't open until 11, so I'm going to call them at 11 and see what's up with the what's up for auditions and stuff, but either way, tomorrow night, I'm going to work, whether it be at this other spot with that DJ, or there's one other spot that I want to check out with um one of the girls that I met last night, so we'll see, but tomorrow night, I'm working, your girl needs some money, and I bought a new outfit today, and I didn't buy that outfit for no reason, so... And that's on that. So, but yeah, I have like a little clip in here. So, and it's just like really actually comfortable to just sit in my car for a second. Like, I haven't done this in so long, but I'm probably gonna sit in my car for like five more minutes, smoke my little clip, and then take my ass inside. I haven't eaten dinner and I'm hungry. So, thanks for watching. Sorry we don't have any scripper content today, but like, that's life. I'll get you guys with some tomorrow. Bye.